Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to go over our install guide for the Funny Playing Q5 Retro Pixel IPS mod. Before you proceed, you may want to check out our other guides, such as our disassembly guide and our soldering guide. As always, all of the required tools will be linked in the description if needed. And with that being said, let's get started. Before we start, we want to go ahead and run a dry test to ensure everything is working properly. You can refer to our dry test guide if needed, which will be linked in the description. Next thing we're going to do is solder our speaker to the new IPS control board as shown. The polarity of these wires does not matter. Set up the IPS panel by connecting the panel to the IPS control board as shown. This is easier done on a completely flat workspace. Next, we want to peel the adhesive off of the rear of the flex control PCB. Peel the adhesive backing and stick the control board to the rear of the IPS panel as shown. Place the IPS display assembly into this funny playing DMG alignment bracket you see here that we highly recommend using with this kit. The longer portion of the flex PCB should stick out through the wide opening in the rear side of the alignment bracket as shown. Next, we're going to move on to our IPS control board adapter assembly. Let's insert the larger ribbon cable into the larger FPC connector as shown. Check to ensure you have the ribbon at the right orientation as shown. This is a pressure fit connector, so use a firm but gentle force to push this cable into place. Then connect the IPS assembly to the IPS control board as shown and latch the bail on both sides to ensure a proper connection. This next step is for shell modification, which is optional. If you are not using a pre-cut shell, see the cutting images on screen here now. One of the last steps we're going to do is install the IPS board and all buttons and membranes to the front shell. Optionally, apply the screen adhesive. We recommend using against the screen adhesive for this particular mod as the new bracket does a great job of holding the screen in position. Line up the holes on the alignment bracket with the screw posts on the front shell. This should be a nearly perfect fit. Take your time to ensure everything sits flush against the front of the shell. Fold the IPS board into place and ensure the speaker is fitted properly to its cutout in the shell. Be sure to also check the adjustment wheel to ensure it sits properly in the shell. Trim any plastic that may be touching the wheel here. Then install the eight PH1 screws to hold the IPS control board in place. Lastly, we're going to move on to our final assembly step, which is connecting the IPS control board to the main board via the larger end of the ribbon cable. We're gonna put in the power switch here too while we're at it. Yeah, put in the power switch. Come on, Mitch, you can do it. Done a lot of Game Boys here. There we go. Go ahead and replace the six Y1 screws on the rear housing as well. Install some fresh AA batteries or a clean juice battery mod and you're all set. We'll show you a few cool things with this kit here. So we have booted up the game, uh, baseball, and toggling the control wheel up and down will adjust the brightness. Pressing the control wheel in once will switch to color palette changing mode. And toggling the control wheel up and down in this mode will change the color displayed. And if we long press it, at least 5 seconds, we can change the pixel modes. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to us, give us a like, and check us out on all of our social channels. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.